Hello and welcome to another Franchise Hockey Ministry. My name is Adam. I am the community manager of Franchise Hockey. With or not with me, as always, is FHM producer Jeff, because he's away this week. So we are continuing with our Columbus or Fire the Cannon Columbus Blue Jackets 2003-2004 season. Hope begins anew. If you left us last week or missed last week's episode, we played through the trade deadline through. Uh, Trade deadline through the playoffs, did uh, the draft. Free agency doesn't really exist at this point. There was a few guys, but no one of serious interest. Um, We lost in the playoffs in round two to San Jose, who ended up going to the Stanley Cup final and losing to the eventual Stanley Cup champions, the Ottawa Senators, who now have back-to-back league titles. Uh, We went into the draft knowing we needed to make some more moves. So let's pull up uh, the transaction log here. And basically our big thing was we traded away Ty Conklin and Willie Mitchell. Um, and with that, Ty Con- or sorry, Ty Conklin, Willie Mitchell, and our first round pick. And we moved up in the draft to take two first round picks, which created a bit of cap room for us. And we were able, most importantly, to take Patrice Bergeron, which is what we jumped up in the draft to do. Uh, so looking at our draft, actually... If you missed that, you can see, and we'll just click here to sort. So we took Patrice Bergeron with a 14th overall pick. We picked up Dion Phaneuf with our uh, second first round pick. We grabbed uh, Jonas Gustafson as a new goalie prospect. We added Robert Nielsen in the third round, Mark Flood in the fourth, Fabian Brunstrom in the fifth. And then uh, Brian Inahak with our sixth round pick, and we traded out the rest basically over pass just to try and grab some guys who made sense for us. Uh, we did miss on some guys we wanted, but you know, overall, I felt pretty good about our draft. We, of course, had a bit of a switch too because we also got rid of Tim Thomas at the end of the year. So now we're riding in with. Mika Kiprasov is our as our clear cut number one. We picked up two goalies from free agency, I believe. Yeah, so we brought UC Markinen from Finland and brought in Igor Podomaski. I believe is how you say his name, but I could be wrong on that. I wish Jeff was here to correct me. Um, Igor never actually made it to the NHL, and yeah, UC Markinen did played for Edmonton for. And the Rangers for a few years there. So we have a couple of guys who kind of fit our time frame, who make sense. Um, we ran into a bit of issue with a, our roster limits down to 50. I'll have to fix that next July 1st just so we can keep a few more guys around. Or under contract, rather. Um, so, yeah, our team seems to be shaping up fairly well. Alex Burroughs kind of needs to take another step forward. We traded away some guys who were who were dipping a bit. Um, but yeah, so you can see our, our basic roster. Let's pull up the depth chart here for a second. Now we did too um, uh, skip through um, a bit of uh, a preseason. We were doing just about what we thought we're trying to let some we didn't have enough room to sign everybody which is why you can see like yanni picking in and dion finneff remain unsigned um just gives us a little bit more flexibility right now Derek roy who we got last year at the trade or in season is pushing for a job so that's good um maybe not quite there with our our forward depth uh joe noondike stuck around steve eiserman stuck around so there's there's a lot of hope on this team that we have some guys who can play and kind of develop into those guys we want them to be. Um, further to that, uh, today actually is the interleague draft, so we need to submit our protection list. Uh, we're obviously going to protect Kiprasov. The question is, what goalie do I protect? I guess we protect Igor because he's a little bit younger. It would really suck to lose Markinen after just signing and bringing him here. Uh, we could also be looking at picking up somebody at the waiver draft as another goalie. Besides that, we're just kind of going to take our best players. 
Uh, we might have to leave someone like Neuendyke exposed. I'm not sure at this point, but I'm not losing like Zidane Chara or Dan High Note. We can't get rid of our captain. Okay, looks like we got lots of room for most of these guys. So, uh, Zionev protects. Same with Rubida. We will protect Pascal Dupuy. Jan just has not taken enough of a step. And we know Chris Neal can get, so we're going to expose Adi Mietnan, UC Markinen, and Jan Hedja. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of how we're leading towards, so we'll advance to the next day here. A uh, bit of a trade, but nothing too major. Okay, we're... At, oh, for the first time, I think we're actually given a challenge to actually maybe try and go for a Stanley Cup favorite. That's actually impressive. I was not expecting that. All right. I like that. So we have the waiver draft. Um, Mike Greer, who just got traded, is available. That would be kind of a nice pickup, but not us. So first pick is, yeah, Mike Greer going to Boston or going to New Jersey. Steve Reinprecht, Mika Nornan, Joe Corvo. Okay, it is our pick. Um, what could we do here? Better question, what would Jeff do? That's probably the best way to think about it. Jason LaBarbera is the top guy left. I don't think he'll ever hit that three and a half stars. He could. Man, he lasted a long time. Okay. All the way through 2015. Nick Backstrom would be an interesting add. He'd be the youngest of the three guys we just added. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. John Graham. Again, interesting player. Last for a few more seasons. Who's top rated ability is John Graham. An old man, Mike Richter's still hanging around from the Rangers. Dan Cluche. Well, that's probably who Jeff would want me to get, let's be honest. Uh, Jeff Hackett, Jason Lombard. Curtis Sanford, only 24, huh? Did eventually come play for Columbus. Yeah, interesting. Wade Belax there, Steve Dubinsky. There's no really big forward here who's jumping off the page being like, oh, we should add him. Adding a goalie. Uh, Tim Thomas. Can't forget. Who, what did we trade him for? Oh, yeah. Derek Roy. That's right. Right, right, right. That was midseason. Okay. Well, the smart move here would be taking Jason LaBarbera and hoping he develops. He is one of the youngest. Who else is here who's young? Sheldon Brookbank. Eric Schwenard. Anthony Mietnan, who's our own player. Rico Fada. Mike Rep. Rep wants the cup. Mike Commodore. Curtis Sanford. Okay, I think it's got to be between the goalies, and I think it's either got to be Jason LaBarbera or Curtis Sanford. Sanford we don't have fully scouted, which scares me a bit. What does our scouting say about Jason LaBarbera?
The barber will log a fair amount of time lost to injuries. That's a little bit scary. Okay, so that maybe pulls me back off him a little bit. I mean, Backstrom wouldn't be bad. What's our scouting say about Backstrom? Oh, boy. Just red. That last line is worrisome. Saying uh, has a disappear tendency to disappear when the pressure's on. Um, what's Curtis Sanford say? Uh, Curtis Sanford scouting says he'll move on to green pressures. Sanford tends to stay out of trouble off the ice. Well, that's good for our, um, what we would need. Um, <laughs> Uh, let me see here. Um, 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 um. All right, I think we're going to take Curtis Hanford. That gives us a little bit more flexibility. All right, so John Graham goes next to Detroit. Todd Werner, Luskin, and Tommy Sallow goes to Florida. So Edmonton lost two of their goalies. All right. Hmm. Uh, Darby Hendrickson, Blake Sloan. Dan Cluche goes to Atlanta. Wade Bielak goes to Colorado. Mike Richter goes to Vancouver. Interesting. Oh, there we just lost UC Markin and went to Dallas. Okay. Ken Klee goes to Anaheim. Jeff Hackett goes to Carolina. Grosek goes to Minnesota. Martin LaPointe goes to the Rangers. Okay, so being that we lost UC Markinen, probably picking up. Uh, Curtis Sanford makes a lot more sense. All right, we're going to continue for a day here. Uh, Andy McDonald wants to go to 10. Sure. It's not going to hurt anything. Curtis Sanford wants 30. Uh, no. You have number one. That works. Okay, so we got to send someone down. We're going to send Patrice Bergeron down because he's not ready for the big time anyways. I don't think I can send Curtis. Oh, I can. Send Curtis Sanford down to you then. That leaves us with one roster spot. I don't think anyone super interesting is available right now, so. Okay, that's pretty funny. Ed Balfour is uh, naming himself judge, jury, and executioner of the team's kangaroo court. All right, then. Robert Cron for Chris Ferraro. Interesting. All right, so first game of the year versus Atlanta. Okay, I think we kind of got our lines set up as we want. Lines still look good. Timing's all right. Kipper sauce in net. Yeah, I think we're looking good here. So let's push forward. See how things go here. And one nothing win to start the year. Kiprasov gets a shutout. All right.
good start. And we got a trade proposal already from the Islanders. Who are trying to get Joe Noondike for nothing. Okay, oh, Noondike's actually got up to two and a half stars. That's also nice. And 2-1 loss to the Rangers. Ooh. Defensive game rating from Andre Markov, 46. That is not good enough. Nick Backstrom is on waivers, but I don't think we need another goalie right now. All right. Game versus Vancouver. And 4 nothing win over Vancouver. Okay, so three games played and two shutouts. Interesting way to start the year. I guess I maybe should change that star rating thing. We are getting... Okay. Uh, let me just do that right now. So I want to go to Manager and Options. And we'll put it a minimum one and a half stars for us to stop. Game for Chicago. We should probably give our Russian goaltender a game here soon. And it's a 4-2 win. All right. Continuing. Starting off nice. Three goals in the third period. Including one empty netter with six seconds left. All right. Leading the division to start off the year. I like it. I like it. Game versus Nash. Oh, who got hurt? Kovalchuk is day-to-day. -day. All right, we're going to replace him straight up with Alex Burrows. If I can find Burrows on this list, there he is. All right. Podomansky the game. And see how he does. And 2-2 two -two tie. All right. Neither a win nor a loss. Oh, we tied it up with less than two minutes left. Okay. Pedersen. All right. Another trade proposal. Very lackluster again. So we'll skip past that. And looking here, all right, Kovalchuk's still hurt, so we'll leave him out. Um, Okay, Curtis Sanford's still sitting low. He's sad about being on the wrong stage. Well, guess what, Curtis? You need to earn your job. Get to two stars and we can talk. 3 nothing win over Detroit, who gave us fits last year. So that's nice to see. Tied now in our division. Okay, Kolchuk's almost ready to be back, but we're not going to rush him in. Because we don't want him to get hurt again immediately. So we'll give our backup a start here again. 3 nothing win over Tampa Bay. Ooh. Liking this. Alright, 5-1-1 one one start. Islanders come back with another offer. Jordan Hendry for Jan Heja. Yeah, still not good enough. Game versus Dallas. Kovalchuk still not quite ready. We'll leave him out again until he is 
And we lose 2 nothing to Dallas. Score both their goals in third period with less than four minutes left. And Solani just got injured. Okay, so Burroughs is replacing or getting replaced by Kovalchuk. Solani is getting replaced by Burroughs. All right, Kolchuk is officially now 100% healthy, which is perfect for this game versus Vancouver. And 2-1 loss to Vancouver. Ah. That hurts. All right. Cause love hurt game versus Edmonton. Not going to change anything else. Just going to continue to move forward. And 4 2 victory over Edmonton. All right. Good job, boys. Scoring goals in bunches. All right. Salani's getting close. Development report. Jay Bowmeister's going up. Eric Cole's going up. Oh, Cole's at 3-3. Three three. I don't know if he was before. Markov's... Okay, good, good, good. All these guys are hitting top potential and still getting better. Chris Thorburn's raising his game. Mark Flood's going up. Fabian Brunstrom. Patrice Bergeron. Curtis Sanford. Robert Nielsen. Big jump there. Dion Phaneuf. Rick Rippon. Big jump. Timo Solani. Not great going down. And Patrick Marley was named star of the month. Patrice DeRoja. All right. Good for him. Uh, I think I have trading under the assistant. I do. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Monthly budget. We have some points now we can add to team morale to make everybody a little bit more happy. And we're going to do that. And 2-1 victory in Calgary. Nice. Burroughs gets a goal up on that first line. Zidlicki scores in overtime. Nice. All right, some more guys on waivers, but nobody of great interest. St. Louis has passed us. Solani's ready to come back. So we'll get him back in, and Burroughs is coming out. But Burroughs has played very well in his limited playing time. And actually, look at that. He's up to one and a half stars now. Okay, nice. I think he was only at one, if I remember right at the beginning of the stream. So he's making moves. And Atlanta beats us. Darn. Danny Heatley beats us. For in the first period. Oh, all right. Disappointing. Oh, boy. Six games back at St. Louis now. Um, we'll keep going with what we got. 4 nothing victory over Colum or Calgary. Four nothing victory over Columbus doesn't make any sense. The team's playing pretty well. Just these occasional little bumps. And uh, yeah. Nikolai Habi Boulin playing for Montreal. Oh, we get stonewalled. Six one lost to Montreal. Ouch. We get one goal to break the shutout under five minutes left in the game. Ugh. Just curious. Anyone interesting on the trade block? Frederick Moldine. That's the only guy there. Yeah, that's not very interesting. 
Oh, man. Any McDonald sustained dizziness and nausea during the game. Or during practice, one to two weeks. All right. He comes out and gets replaced with Burroughs, who will just slot right in for him. Because Burroughs can play all three positions. So left wing on the third line works. Game versus the defending Stanley Cup champions. We're going to give it to our backup goalie. And 3-2 loss. Loss in overtime, though, so we still gain a point. Oh, not a loss in overtime. Apparently I misread that. All right. Ottawa has only lost two games. Ooh. And Justin Williams is day to day. All right, so we got to make somebody call up for somebody. I guess it's Derek Roy coming up. Kazanov has 13 points in 16 games. Roy's got 8 points in 16 games. Zainov has 15 points in 16 games. All right, you know what? We're going to give Kazanov a shot here. So this is not going to be gone long. We're just going to put him right in the lineup. All right, Tomarutu is almost ready to come back. Game versus Boston. Ooh, someone's down to 68%. Okay, I'll have to keep an eye on that. And it's a 1-1 one -one tie. All right, all right. Tomarutu is officially back. So who is low? Tomarutu is at 70%. Okay, well, he might have to get a game off once we get some guys healthy. All right. 3-2, lost to Phoenix. No, oh, sorry, 1-1 one, one tie. That was the last game. All right, so we're getting some ties, but not winning. And we've slipped to third in our division. Okay. Back-to-backs with Detroit. We'll give our backup the first game. Who the extra morale spending has seemed to made him a little more happy, which is good. 4-1 win over Detroit. That feels good. We go back and forth, but then, you know, take advantage. And another game versus Detroit. Put Kipper in net for this one, and... They beat us 4-1. All right. That's that hurts. Give up a shorthand a go. Stefan Mateau is uh yeah, he's not doing anything anyways. Justin Williams is ready to go. Yuri Slager's on the block, our old friend. Okay. So Justin Williams, he's going to get replaced with Okay, yep. Yeah. Kazanov replaces Williams. Alright. I guess Justin Williams only 80%. He could have sat out another day, but you know what? We kind of need him in here to try and help rate this ship. And it is one of the most boring games. 0-0. Zero, zero. 63 shots on net and nobody gets a goal. Disappointing. Disappointing. Uh, H35, Valerie. What's up? You can. Seven points behind St. Louis. It's quickly getting out of hand. They played four less games than us. Oh, man. We are never catching St. Louis. Who 
Who's hurt or suspended? Our goaltender got hurt. Back stiffness. Oh, boy. All right. I guess Curtis Sanford's coming up. Kelto kiss. All right, four one victory over Edmonton. Very nice. Solani finally getting a few more goals. Four point game. All right. Um. Yeah, okay, everyone's relatively happy. I guess we're gonna. Ah, uh, no, we're gonna have Kipper in for the this back to back. I don't really want to play Sanford. We lose three two. All right. Andy McDonald is officially back. He is a hundred percent. So Burroughs gets replaced with McDonald. Now is anyone else not at a hundred? No, everyone's at a hundred. Okay. All right, we're going to give this game versus Curtis Sanford. Let's just put him in for a game, see what happens. And we lose 4-1. Okay. The Moose destroys us, making 34 saves. Piling on the shots, we're just not getting goals. Uh, da -da -da -da. Juice Bergeron with another big jump. Uh, yeah. Monthly budget. Crank our team morale all the way up. Owner confidence. We're a serious contender. We should be looking for help right now. Things could be better, but we're not at a stage where we could replace you. Really? Oh, boy. Our job security has fell down there a bit. All right. Um, <laughs> what can we do? there to try and help out I wonder what are, or better yet what are we really missing um <laughs> I mean more scoring but we're in an area of uh, era of dead puck So I'm not sure. Bates Batelli has had a really good game. Better than his real life. All right. Um, I think we're just kind of going to have to suffer through this and hope our young guys start scoring goals. I guess the other thing is we could try and play a little more aggressively. So maybe we should look at doing that. All right. Uh, tactics. Our attacking's pretty. Let's try and push the tempo a little bit. We are still shooting more, but let's 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 move up the tempo. And see if that makes a bit of a difference for us. Everyone's all smiles. That's good. And it's a 3-1 victory. Okay. With us trying to skate more, we're going to have to watch our team's 
health to see if we need to adjust there. Um, okay, everyone's still looking healthy. And 4 1 loss to Colorado. Okay. Defensive game rating down, high note. Okay. Has high note not really been doing his job? Am I crazy on that? Let's maybe look at some. <clears throat> Andy McDonald, 99 defensive game rating. Eric Cole, not doing great either. Okay. Let's look at some stats. Justin Williams is leading our team with 13 points in 22 games. That's not great. Dan Hynote, four assists. Ten penalty minutes is a plus three. It's our advanced stats tell us. Hmm. Those are quite the wild swings on some guys. Mm-hmm. All right, let's just... Four assists is not really cutting it. What if we shop him? What do we get? Any interesting offers? Scott Thornton. No. Not trading Brett Hedekin. Or for Brett Hedekin. Donald Odette. That's not really improving us. 29-year-old Valerie Burray. Interesting. Definitely do more scoring, but not going to play better defensively. Jelena, Yuri Slager, Jay McKee. All right, we are going to put high note just on the block then. Let's see if we can rumble up some offers. We do not need Jason Botterell back. Boston offers us Joe Cullen for Joe Newendijk. No. All right. Potomuski is ready to return soon. And 5-2 victory over Philly. Sorry, Red Flyers. We will do our winning where we can. All right, that stems the bleeding a little bit, but oh boy. Okay. Let's go back to our roster here. Sanford comes out. And we're going to send Sanford back down. Roby does only had four points. Roby does. We're going to try replacing you with Jay Bowmeister and see if that makes any difference. And we lose our first game. 2-1. All right. McDonald scores. How did Bo Meester do? All right. Lubiner Viznowski is not doing great there. All right.
right. Thirty-one year old Darren McCarty bring a little bit of toughness into to our team. Uh oh, man. Okay. Goaltender's gone cold, which is not helping us at all. And 3-1 victory. Okay. Okay. Take it. Run. They badly outshot us, but we got it done. St. Louis is beating us up in the standings. Continues. Oh, we sneak one past them. 2-1 win. Okay, nice. <laughs> Bo Meester converts to left defense. Okay. Game versus Calgary. And 1-1. One, one. Okay. Take the tie and run, I guess. We score first minute 25 into the game. They score late in the second, and that's it. All right. Um. <laughs> I am not sure. Oh, we lose to Minnesota. Come on. Part of me wants to go so hard trying to get Mario Lemieux. I do have two second round picks. If we were. Don't have a third rounder though. Two f and a fifth rounder. Extra fifth. So if we were going to make a big move. That is the wrong button to hit. Trying to get Paul Korea would be fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. Hmm. Okay, just because I'm interested. Dan High Note. We offer the rights to Gus Bus. Can't even get a sniff, huh? Two first round picks and it's oh well we would consider that offer. And we ask for a fourth rounder. No, okay. How about a fifth rounder next year? Boy, I'm not sure about giving up two. Mm -hmm.
Okay, we're gonna offer the trade. We'll just we'll just see what happens. We'll offer the trade. We'll see what happens. Two nothing loss to Phoenix. Our lack of scoring is just killing us right now. Montreal offers us Matt Kartner for Jan Heda. A lot of penalties. It's 25 and still only half start. Yeah, we're going to make that trade just to shake things up. Just to make a move. Um, <laughs> all right. Two, two tie versus Chicago. We just can't win a game. Ducks say no way to our trade offer, but it's close to being all right. <laughs> they want Pavel Datsuk or Justin Williams to make this trade work. Yeah, no, not happening. Not happening. I guess our other option then is... Okay, I'm just going to shop him again right now. See if any of the offers change. No, we don't want Scott Thornton or Brett Hedekin still. Or Aki Berg. Well, they keep offering. Oh, man. Really? <laughs> okay. Oh, man. All right. My phone tells me the hockey game in the real world just ended right now, and Florida Panthers are on their way to a Stanley Cup final. 3-2 win. Over Dallas. Well done. And Kovalchuk is out day to day. Derek Roy, who we know is going to play better at some point, has 26 points in 34 games. I guess it's time to bring him up and see if he can help our scoring. So, Derek Roy, what you got? You're coming in, you're going to play wing. I know you're not used to playing wing, but you're going to figure it out. And we continue. 2-2 two, two tie. How did Derek Roy do in his first game? Good stats overall. All right. Okay. Like those numbers. Calgary offers us 23-year-old center Dominique Moore for 37-year-old Joe Neuendijk. Dominique Moore played for a very long time. Been stuck a bit in the minors in this game. Only has one assist in the NHL right now. What's our scouting saying? Um, 
Okay. Doesn't stay out of trouble. Well, if we're going to give Derek Roy a spot, we need to get rid of somebody. So getting rid of Joe Noondike has only got two assists. All right, we're going to complete that chain trade and send Joe Newendike back to Calgary. I don't know if we're keeping Derek Moore or not, but we'll put him on. Or Dominique Moore. I say Derek. Uh, and we'll bring Alex Burroughs into the lineup full time. I'm going to take and put Burroughs on that second line instead of Solani. And we'll see if we can get a little bit better there. Oh, whoa, what? Wow, Nikolai Habibulin in a second round pick. Go for Ed Jovanovsky and a fifth round pick. Vancouver now has Mike Richter and Nikolai Habibulin in net. With Ryan Miller in the wings, Gar Snow behind them, Brett Cron, Corey Crawford. Wow. Who's in Montreal got in net then? Steve Shields and Paul Sauvé. Or Philip Sauvé. Okay. Well, they do have Tim Thomas hidden there. Interesting. Uh, Dominic Moore can have 28. Uh, okay. I wonder if maybe I should move high note down. All right, five nothing victory in the first game. Here, anyways. Again, Derek Roy, one shot on goal. Alex Burroughs had an assist and has a plus two. Okay. Yeah, minus four for trading away Joe Newendig. But you know what? He wasn't doing a thing. Ryan Malone is on waivers. Two and a half stars are ready. We only have him scared of D. All right, prone to controversy is enough to make me go, no, we don't want him on our team right now. All right. Derek Roy goes up a little more. Mark Flood, Fabian Brunstrom. Oh, Patrice Bergeron's one star now. Nice. 16 points in 33 games. Kyle Wellwoods moving up. Dion Phaneuf is moving up. Slime's going down. Eiserman's going down. Okay. Hmm. We're making some big points back. I wonder if our owner's going to steal everything again after he forced us to cut our budget. You should be looking for help. I am looking for help. But sometimes that help has to come from within, Mr. Owner. And it's a 4-2 loss versus Tampa Bay. We actually tied it up and then gave up two goals. Ouch. And Solani just got injured. Seriously? 
Oh, he's out five months with massive eye trauma. Oh, no. Oh, man. Dominic Moore is coming in. Solani is going to the injured list. And I'm going to go check transactions right now, see if anyone has shown up on the trade block who's of interest. And the answer is no. Unless we want old, old man Claude Lemieux. All right. Hmm. Our first line is just a shell of itself. We're going to have to reconfigure things here once Kovalchuk comes back. But we get a 2-1 win. Hmm. Kovalchuk is almost ready. Plays game versus Colorado. And we lose 3 2. Okay, Kolchuk's almost ready, which means I think we can reset our lineup. And we won two. Okay, so let's look at our lineup right now. Okay, so we're going to assume Moore comes out and gets replaced with Kovalchuk just for now. Okay, so let's look at our lines here. All right, Kovalchuk. Kovalchuk is a left wing, though, so we're going to put him there. Going to lock him in. Datsuk's there. Unlock Derek Roy. Um, <laughs> Justin Williams is going to move up to the first line. Lock him in. Alex Burroughs is going to push up to the second line, unless we move Tomo Rutu up. Actually, I like that idea. Uh, you know what? No. What's Eric Cole doing? Okay, I kind of like this. So let's lock our forward lines as such. Defensive pairings. We're going to move Zdeno Chara up to the first pairing with Rafalski. Okay, let's just assist and create lines. Okay, so it mixed everything there. Do sometimes. Okay, can we change tactics for high note to see if he has got anything else? Because Shadow just let's put him as aggressive four checker. Gotta try to do something different. He is not effective.